Hi, my name is Okeria Faruz. I am reporting from Platform Media International, live in Lagos. And I have a guest with me, Mr. Kevin Luther. Oh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. How okay, are you doing? So I'm good. Thank you. Great, great. great. All right. So okay. I want you to introduce yourself. Okay. All right. So um, my name is Kevin Luther. Uh -huh. um, I'm a filmmaker. Oh, okay. um, currently based in the United States, but right now in Nigeria. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, for now, that's, that's what I'm like. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. So you say you're based in the, the US, United States. Yeah, the United and States. And yeah. you're here in Nigeria. Yeah. So what brought you here? Okay, so I came out here to actually um, work in a movie. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm making a movie here. And um, I've been in Nigeria since the March. March? March. Yeah, yeah. This year? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And trying to put up a team and uh, okay. cast for the movie. Okay. And set up locations and all of that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, can you talk to us a little bit about your uh, the movie project? Okay, so um, it's a cinema um, target movie project. Okay. Um, I'm actually targeting to release the movie in the theater, so that's why it's taking me a lot of time to prep for the movie. And okay. um, it's titled Dinner at My Place. Dinner at My Place. Uh, yeah. Nice. This, the story was bad uh, out of a short film that I did, um, I think in 2019 okay, or 2020. So you, made, you made something already Yeah, before? I made something already from the film. And I initially had other projects that I wanted to work on. But after, after making that short film and mm. seeing that it really did well okay. at international film festivals, okay. I decided to develop the, the movie into a feature length. And work on the future land oh okay yeah nice. really nice yeah thank you okay so um can you talk about uh challenges that i'm facing right yes Hell yeah. it's, not, it's not easy no it's not many easy. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not, not easy. easy so um it's a lot 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 of challenges um when you come back here to make a movie i haven't been in the country in a while so okay how long um I mean, I come here and there, but at least um, I've been away from the, let me say, from the industry for almost like four or five years. I was That's not right. really, yeah, active. <laughs> so coming back and trying to make a movie mm -hmm. means I have to set up, uh, build a new crew, um, get to link up More with like people, starting afresh, starting afresh again. Mm -hmm. So everything is different now. Uh, the coats, the prizes, okay. everything is different, totally different now. So. Um, you have to meet people. Mm. Oh, I'm back again. I want to make a movie. Um, can you be part of it? And uh, everyone seems busy. A, a lot of, uh, okay. yeah, everyone seems busy. So they're doing one or two things. So to actually get like a crew, I mean, build a team that mm. is on the same page with you, it's, it's been difficult because everyone is doing something. So the only time they have probably would not work for the schedule that I have for the movie. Okay. So you either have to look for another person or Let's shift your wait for them. yeah wait wait for them to actually be available for mm -hmm. you to work with, and it was the same case scenario where I was facing with um, you know the actors. I didn't know this is the time that most of the actors are really busy. They've been booked for like three or four months ago. Okay, so there's a time that actors yeah. are usually busy. yeah yeah. That's what I got to know too. Um, around. April, May, June, July is usually when actors work a lot in Nigeria. Oh, okay. Yeah, because okay. towards the end of the year, mm. productions are on hold because people are going to travel for vacations. Okay, yeah. So um, around this time, a lot of productions go on, you know. Mm. And then we're just coming out of a pandemic that made um, a lot of uh, projects Delayed. get stalled. Mm. Yeah, you understand? So now that... It's, we are recovering gradually. Okay. Everyone is rolling out their cameras and okay. film, and so everyone really seems busy at the moment. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So um, within the last, say, five years, yeah. what do you think about the growth of uh, Nollywood? Yes, Nollywood. Mm. Mm -hmm. It has actually grown a lot because five years back. Um, some of the potentials that we're seeing in Hollywood uh, come across right now, we're not there. Like mm. five years back, Netflix was not in Nigeria. 
that was a big hit. That was a big one, you know. And then um, movies were not making so much as they're making now. now. Like, okay. Yeah, I think people are beginning to embrace, like, especially for the cinema culture, okay. to go out there. So when you see, like, uh, Funke Kindela's movie made uh, 600 and I think about 30 million, and the cinema shows that we are getting better and better. <laughs> yeah, I know back in, back within the last five years, it was wedding party, like, I think it made around 400 um, million or thereabout. That was like a huge one, but then, Right now, Omogeto by Funke Kindele came mm -hmm. and blew it out of, you know, the waters oh, again. <laughs> like wow, that's 630 million. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. That's so a lot. it shows that. Um, there's improvement. Yeah, there's been an, an improvement. improvement. Yeah, since the last five years, okay. and then technically, um, even the technicality of filmmaking has mm. improved. Okay. So you see, our contents don't look. Uh, as it used to. No, it's getting better and better. Sound is is coming up. Cinematography is mm. it's getting awesome. Directing, scripting, they're working on it, and that's why you could see a big um, business like Netflix will be interested yeah. in Nigeria. You know. Exactly. Yeah. So I think it has been a lot of improvement, and even actors are earning more than they used to earn mm. back then. Okay. You know, like um, there's a lot I could say has improved in the last five years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. That's, that's good to hear. Yeah. Okay, so you said your mm -hmm. your movie project will okay. be a cinema... Uh, a cinema release project. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mm. why not Netflix or... Oh, yeah. So, so this is how it works. Okay. Um, you make a cinema release movie. Netflix actually has a criteria, especially for Nollywood fans. Okay. Um, at least it has to be movies that had gone to the it's theaters, oh, yeah, okay. will release, oh, okay. Okay. then they can now. So the same distributor that distributes your movies to the theaters is the one that negotiates with Netflix. Netflix. Oh, okay. And so technically, um, my movie would still end up, um, you know, on Netflix. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, because at the end of the day, the same distribution company will work out a deal, and if Netflix likes the movie, then we're going to talk business. Nice, wow. Yeah. Wow. Really mm -hmm. nice. Well yeah. done. Well thank done. you. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's you. nice that you came back. At least you, you, you would have thrown your movie over there, but then mm -hmm. you came back mm -hmm. and you. I'm sure you wanted uh, faces and you yeah. faces. Exactly. Exactly. Nice. Nice. Really yeah. nice. Okay. So, um, what advice do you have for young filmmakers, like young and? Mm. Upcoming or upcoming filmmakers. Okay. What advice do you have for them? To make movies mm. and to make films with anything they can lay their hands on. Okay. Be the phone. Okay. Um, a small camera. Okay. Just keep making content okay. and putting it out there mm. until you are seen and heard. Mm. So I know there's a couple of boys in Nigeria. I forgot their names, but. They started making content using phones and they would make like visual effects and post it on YouTube. Okay. And at some point it blew up and international people started watching their stuff. And then even at some point, um, CNN got a hint of it and looked for them. And from what I heard at some point, I think they even got like a, a GoFundMe page that mm -hmm. they were making a lot of money because people were like, okay, if these guys can make this kind of content without the right equipment, just mm -hmm. their phones, what will happen if we support them to, you know, like give them equipment and all of that? Mm -hmm. So I see that as an encouragement for every filmmaker. You don't have to wait until you can afford to rent a, a red, camera. yeah, a red camera or an Ari camera before you make a movie, or mm -hmm. until you can afford to pay Genevieve or all of that. No. Okay. Now we have a platform. We have a lot of platforms that are out there that you can start putting content out there like TikTok, mm -hmm. like Instagram, mm -hmm. like Facebook pages. Yeah. All you just need to do is create content, post it out there, and let people see it. Okay. And so uh, while you're doing that, you're improving your craft as a filmmaker as mm -hmm. well. Make short films, send them to festivals, um, test it, see how it works, see what the festivals say about your film. And as you do this, you're going to get good mm. and better every day on yeah. your craft. And when you have 
the right budget to actually attempt your first future future film. That's when you actually make a future film. Mm. So it was the same thing I, I did back in those days when I didn't have the budget to make uh, a future film. Okay. So basically I would make short films. Anytime um, I know I wanted to make films, I would make short films and I'll post them out there and people started calling me for, mm. for jobs. And that was some years ago, but that is how my journey started. I started making content. I would just send them to festivals, and sometimes I get screened. Okay. And I wasn't making money when I started making films. It was just the placards, like you win an award, and mm. they send it to me, and I'm mm. like, yeah, I won an award, mm -hmm. and that kind of thing, you know. But at some point, you begin to make money. So my advice is make films, make content. Okay. Make short films, make skits. Mm. Uh, just jump on any opportunity that you get, any platform that is available just uh, so you can show what you can do mm. and do it the gorilla style where if you don't have money to rent um, a dolly convert a wheelchair into a dolly or something um, mm -hmm. get a plank of wood put the camera on it just make it happen okay um, I remember a time there was a time long ago we were filming in we couldn't afford to rent all the lights, so we used lanterns. Wow. Yeah, to land the hmm. set. <laughs> and at the end of the day, when it came out, people thought that was aesthetics. Then we were like, oh, oh my okay. God, this is so creative. Wow. And I'm like, well, <laughs> it was, but because we couldn't afford lights. Wow. You wow. know, so I've come from a place where we had nothing, but we made it happen. Mm. And that was also one of the things that made me sort of stand out when I went to New York Film Academy. Okay. So, they would, you know, back in, at, in the U.S., I didn't even know at that point in time there was something like a focus puller. So, when a cameraman is rolling, there's, there's someone that needs to pull focus. Okay. That tunes the camera. Okay. So, but as an indie, indie filmmaker back in Nigeria and a gorilla filmmaker, mm. we did it all of it. So I was directing okay. and I would roll the camera on myself <laughs> and I don't need nobody to like pull the focus. <laughs> so when I went to school, right, and they would give us tax and they noticed I was filming on my own. Like, how does he do it? He's not, nobody's pulling his focus. Mm. So they asked me, where did you learn to do this? And I said, it's not a big deal. Like they said, no, how, how, how do you direct and be the DP yourself and then pull your focus? And I said, well, I come from where we had to make it work with or without nothing. Mm. So that experience that I had, you know, working as a gorilla filmmaker sort of really gave me an edge when I went out there and I had a bigger platform mm. where in Hollywood you get to see on one movie said they would have like a bunch of equipments that would fill up an entire duplex apartment. Wow. We didn't have those. Yeah. We basically we had just camcorders mm. when we started making film back in Nigeria. So that that is to say you can start small, mm. but you can grow bigger, mm. and you can make a film with anything. And now we have phones. Yeah. If you have an iPhone or a yeah. Samsung really phone, nice. exactly. You can film stuff, mm. upload it on a computer, and then edit it and put it out there. True. So my advice is, guys, make movies, mm. make short films, make skits, lay your hands on any platform that you can showcase mm. what you Don't have. Don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on it. Exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. Mm. There's, there's a complaint or complaint on on this social media thing. Okay. What do you think? What do you think about it? What do you think are the advantages or disadvantages of social media as a whole? Okay. You know, it's, it's supposed to be a place for uh, for media mm -hmm. to get information, to mm -hmm. drop information. Mm -hmm. But then people are complaining. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Well, well I think um, social media has um, its own advantages mm. uh, and disadvantages. Mm -hmm. So. I think uh, I'll focus on, first of all, the advantages, okay. um, especially a platform like Instagram, mm. where you've seen like a lot of content creators rose overnight and became like household brands yeah. and all of that. And some built a brand from nothing mm. on Instagram and became like a huge 
big deal, mm. right? Um, I've seen people started with one follower to millions of followers, yeah. and then they converted those followers into money. Mm. And then they became brand ambassadors, they did ad, they charged thousands, mm -hmm. and even sometimes millions, millions for ads. Yeah. Okay. Now I've seen people become stars just by creating content also and showing it on mm -hmm. the channel. They don't need to be on TV anymore. Mm -hmm. That's like a TV that everybody's on yes. and everybody's watching. Mm -hmm. So that can be like the advent, uh, one of the, some of the advantages that I see when it comes to social media and how we use it. Okay. Now the disadvantage is also, the disadvantages are also many, but I'm looking at the fact that um, social media has been used in ways that sometimes destroy people's lives. Okay. Yeah, like, um, you know, like, bullying we call it like social media mm, bullying okay. some, sometimes people, some people really get bullied mm, online mm. and that actually affects a lot of people negatively in the sense that you come online and this it could be like a defamation of character someone mm. just starts a rumor that they, they haven't even done like a home uh, I mean, a background search. They mm -hmm. just post it about you. Yeah. And once you post anything on the, sh on the media, you can't retrieve it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, for example, someone comes and calls you a murderer. Mm. Yeah, and say, hey, you killed someone. And the video goes viral. Mm. A, lo a lot of people, by the time you refute that claim or it's proven that you were innocent, a lot of people who watch the first video may not be able to watch the second, second one exactly. video. Exactly. Yes, yes. So in their eyes, no matter how you prove yourself innocent, they'll still see you that way. Mm. Your character has been defamed. Mm. And some people get, get to forget that uh, once your character is defamed, it is very, very hard for you to bounce back sometimes. Mm. Because True. inwardly, you, uh, you, you know that, okay, people are still looking at me like that kind of person. Mm. So that is also part of the disadvantages I'm looking at. I'm looking at also the fact that it has become so sexual now. Okay. Yeah, in the sense that you flip your, Twitter, uh, your TikTok page, mm. you can't flip your TikTok page, I mean homepage for more than 30 seconds without seeing someone almost half nude or, mm. or being so sexual. Okay. And then this is dangerous because we even have underage people on yeah, social exactly. media. Yeah, and these things are not really um, censored. Mm. So it means that my younger brother who's probably is maybe 12 years old or, or 13 years mm. old, might be on TikTok flipping and saying all of that. And then you see just people just come, everyone just wants to twerk and mm. show booty and, mm. and all kinds of things online now that is not even for the general public, mm. you know? So I see that becoming an issue as well because it's becoming really rampant now to see stuff like that happen True. online. So that, that bothers me a lot too. And then the fact that you have even Frosted's uh, cloning accounts, yeah, taking, advantage. taking advantage of fans and scamming people using maybe celebrities' profile yeah. and all of that. And this could destroy a lot of lives because at the end of the day, you're still destroying even the character of that star that you're mm. doing, all of that. And then rumors, you know, destroying people's lives and all of that. Nothing is really censored anymore online. So I think those are the disadvantages, but at the end of the day, I still feel like the advantages outplays the disadvantages. Mm. Uh, we just have to find a balance in between the two. Okay. Yeah, because this freedom of information out there, we can access something without mm. actually tuning on the TV. Mm. We can see, oh, there's riot in maybe Lekki, yeah. and you're able to find another route, route? because yeah. it's happening and someone posted live. Mm. So if we were only going to depend on TV, you won't get to know. Yeah. You probably will walk into the scenario. True. So, but give it all, all, I mean, give it a take, I think. Um, it's still just a question of what is the balance between the, the advantages 
and the disadvantages. Mm. So it depends on how you and I use this social media. Do we yeah. use it for positive reasons or we use it to bully people mm. or, or any of those things? And Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you're welcome. You. You're yeah. welcome. All right. It was nice talking to you too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, my name is Oke Rafa Ruth, reporting from Platform Media International, Lagos, Nigeria. Bye. Bye. It's the same day delivery. Home of errands and parcel deliveries within Lagos. Thank you for choosing same day delivery. We offer emergency delivery service, pay on pickup or on delivery, convenience payment system, in short packages, value for money, and lots more. Call same day today on 090-6000-8220 or visit www.thesameday.com. Same day.